Let's look at the ways food can be hot. Spicy hot, not temperature hot. Although, as you'll see, it's kind of the same. Most pungent food contains one or more of the following. Chili pepper, or members of the genus Capsicum, black pepper, or other members of the pepper family, Sichuan pepper, or other members of the genus Zentoxylum, ginger, turmeric, cardamom, galangal, or other members of the family Zingiberaceae, mustard, wasabi, or radish, or other members of the family Brassicaceae, fresh onions, garlic, or other members of the genus Allium. So what makes these plants taste hot? Chili peppers contain a chemical called capsaicin. Black pepper and relatives contain piperine. Fresh ginger contains gingerol. Dry ginger contains shogoal. These chemicals are all related and all activate the so-called vanilloid receptors that detect heat, acidic conditions, and various harmful events. The activation of vanilloid receptors results in burning pain. Mustard, wasabi, horseradish, and the like do business a little differently. These contain synegrin that, when plant tissues are crushed, degrades into allyl isothiocyanate. Now this also stimulates vanilloid receptors for some burning sensation, but allyl isothiocyanate does most of its work through different sensors. Sadly, these don't have a catchy name. Activating TRPA1 receptors results in a severe irritation of the mucous membranes in the sinuses and the eyes, causing sharp pain and leaving you with teary eyes and a runny nose. Speaking of tears, onions. Cutting an onion does a thing that does a thing that does a thing that produces a chemical poetically called the onion lacrimatory factor. Lacrimatory means tear-inducing, which should come as no surprise to anyone who has ever chopped onions. Garlic behaves in a similar way, producing pungent sulfur-containing compounds when chopped or crushed. The sulfur-containing compounds released by plants are part of a defense mechanism against pests, and generally anything that wants to eat the plant. These chemicals would be harmful to the plant itself, which is why their components are stored in a different form within the cells. When plant tissues are damaged, chemistry happens and pests go away, most of the time. Now Sichuan pepper, one of the ingredients of five spice powder, is kind of an odd one out. First, it's not closely related to either chili peppers or black pepper. Also, while other hot spices work by stimulating pain-producing sensors, the pungent compound in Sichuan pepper excites all sorts of neurons, including those responsible for sensing light touch. As a result, Sichuan pepper and its relatives like the West African Uzazi or the Nepali Timur will not only burn your mouth, but also cause a tingling numbness. This is called paresthesia, and is similar to the pins and needles feeling when your arm or leg falls asleep. Okay, enough about things that taste hot. Mints contain menthol that activates cold-sensing neurons. Normally, these neurons react to a radical drop in temperature, signaling a harmful cooling of the environment. What menthol does is trick these receptors, activating them at much higher temperatures, causing the familiar cooling effect when eaten, inhaled, or rubbed on the skin. So in a way, mint is the opposite of chili, 